Hello YouTube, Alex here, back with some more Warframe. And I've got a quick video here, mainly to go over the weapon that I am currently wielding, the Staticor. As some people have, yeah, they people have different opinions when it comes to this weapon. Uh, as really with regards to this item, you're kind of in one or two camps. You're either a, these days you're either a Sonic Core or a Static Core kind of person. As those, those weapons, they basically fire concentrated energy bursts that will either ragdoll, send enemies into the, into the skybox, or do interesting things with status procs and the like. Um, now people, I mean this, this build I'm going to show you is probably not the most unconventional thing that could be done with such a weapon. Uh, but it just seems ridiculously effective. Now I don't know if it's just it's just because of how elementals work against uh, certain factions, or the fact that actually going with a crit-based static or actually works more more uh, more so than you think. And although I should make a disclaimer, I'm not actually using primed crit mods, as well I have them, but I still have not had the time or the endu or the credits or any of the above to actually level them up which is the sad truth of pretty much the majority of my Prime mods these days. Um, so anyway, let's quickly show you what's going on with these. Uh, and yes, my outfit is kind of bugged. I actually had the, the uh, on Excalibur, I had the deck skin on, but it, for some reason it just reverts back to my other uh, <laughs> my other config here. Alright, well, well, whatever. But the Static Core in this case is a crit status hybrid with three formers. It's not too expensive. Um, now I'll just I'll just say one quick thing. I am using two speed mods, being Lethal Torrent and Gunslinger. Really, that's because the majority of the time, if I'm using this weapon, I prefer to spam uncharged shots. But I will just show you that how charged shots are ridiculously effective uh, on this uh, weapon, especially if you mod it for gas. And yes, I know I have a bit of obsession with gas damage as of late. But as long as you can reliably proc gas in decent enough quantities, it's almost as good as slash procs in my opinion. Although slash procs are probably a little bit better uh, against things like Grenier, gas is not, but that's just the way I like to play it. So this, um, as we can see, we are using gas and then base radiation damage uh, with 81-ish percent status chance. Now the crit chance and damage do seem low, uh, not even 31% with 3.5 multiplier. Which of course is subject to the fact that I'm using only the standard crit mods. I do not have my wait. Like if I go all the way over here, um, I do have the, um, the the crit mods here, the primed ones, but I just have not had the time to level them up or the endu reserve for that matter. So they just sit there as a constant reminder that I'm still rather poor in some regards. Um, but regardless, the the crit here does actually make a fair bit of difference. You don't always see it, but if you can, if you get a charged crit on something, it hits pretty damn hard. You're gonna see men, you're gonna see well into the five digit figures with this. Uh, so if we quickly give a demonstration, so I, oh, we're finally using the right uh, uh, the right config here for my Excalibur here. But anyway, I would say one thing. I will just show you this setup with the increased charge rate, and then I'll show you. Um, I'll show you like something if you added maybe more toxin damage or another damage mod instead of gunslinger in this instance and for once I'm using techs rather than ancients in this case but it goes without saying that it hits pretty hard and that did not crit okay that, that just showed me up um, but there we go that's what I'm more likely to see <laughs> sometimes the status chance even though 81% is pretty decent um, for, for these kind of weapons, and I suppose you're already firing technically one charge shot. There's there's a crit. Um, it, it does seem like 81% isn't quite high enough. Sometimes you do occasionally get uh, a shot on an enemy, and, the, and it just does not seem to does not seem to do a whole lot. Well, sometimes, well, other times you get a uh, a shot on, and it just hits like a damn truck. So this is probably where the prime crit mods would be useful. And if I put that extra status mod in, you'll see a, um, a rather significant difference in the damage as well. But you can see his friends, or at least a few of his friends, uh, died pretty much instantly, uh, or a few seconds afterwards. Uh, so don't underestimate these toxin dots that this thing can output. And like I said, I'm only showing you a single charge shot to the face. Like, if I start, if I just go over Yaro, and if I just start spamming the crap out of um, this thing, I can certainly kill them without much effort in that regard. So like that's my point. With the two fire rate mods, I can spam uncharged shots just as quickly um, as I can realistically charge up a decent 
uh, more powerful shots. So, like, charged shots do damage, yes, but I'm more of an uncharged person in that regard. But uh, if I was to sw if you're happy with the slower charge rate, uh, if I want to put in Pistol Pestilence, which gives me an extra 12-ish percent status chance and a good bit more gas damage, and as we know, gas gas procs, they, their damage dealt is all about how much toxin damage you have on the weapon, so more toxin is preferable. Uh, so if I repeat the same test, do note the extra charge time was a little bit more so, by hitting said corpus guy in the head, and that those damage ticks are a lot more than the previous, um, and actually kill at least a couple more of the corpus this time, so... Uh, as you can see, you, like those crits, they're not the crits don't seem to happen always. All like, and and there's there's that's that's what I mean. Look, okay, that was interesting. So I got a crit that time, but there was no toxin dots. So this weapon is a bit strange. But the majority of the time, that's gonna happen. You're just gonna end up with um, the odd crit mixed in, and especially if you get a crit to gas um, explosion, then that hurts a lot. Um, and you just you're just gonna, you're just gonna see insane toxin dots like that. They're just they're just so very dead. Um, but I think you get my point. If you haven't tried the static or yet, uh, definitely give it a go and mod it for gas and status because you can do this. To, you can pretty much just kill 135 techs uh, with pretty much little to no effort. And at least techs, uh, or at least the corpus in general, they don't have any kind of annoying. Resistances like like ancient healers can provide to surrounding uh, people, but let me just quickly show you ancient healers um, with this setup. The ancients will take a little bit less damage because they are very very resistant to the radiation damage this thing has. But if you get a crit, I, I, was that even a crit? I don't know, but wow, they just got one shot. <laughs> Those six over there, uh, number seven goes down, and this guy still stays there. There was a nice crit to the head, so. The primed crit mods are probably what you want to go for uh, in the uh, in the end result here. And as long as you don't mind the slower charge rate and you do go for charge shots, this thing is rather is rather ridiculous with the amount of damage that it does. There we go. It's just one shot. It actually one shot those ancients even faster than the techs. Oddly enough, whether that's the proto shields hold, um, absorbing some of the damage, I don't know. But this weapon gets a very a very strong recommendation from me, because you can do that uh, with almost no effort. Now, one thing I have not tried is to see what this weapon would be like. I just failed. Uh, with I failed again um, with Harrow to see about increasing that crit chance uh, way way up, so you can crit more reliably. Although I think we know how Harrow works. Um, if you can if you can crit a little bit, Harrow can make you crit a lot. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to say about the um, static or just. Go with gas and status. You will not be disappointed. And well, maybe I'm start. Maybe I should like. I'm starting. I'm starting to turn into like the, the gas master race now. It, it seems <laughs> with um uh, with all of the above. But regardless, this weapon is really really strong. Uh, just mod it for gas and status. And you know, either go spam uncharged shots like I like to, or as you just seen, put putting an extra. Uh, toxin um, and status dual stat in there really does make a huge difference in the uh, damage department, but it's up to you. Uh, and also go for the crit as well, because those crits, you know, when they happen, it hurts a lot. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to say about this. Um, just let me know what you think of the idea down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, link to my Discord in the description as always, so you can say hi to me and uh, and then realize how much of a drunken twat I am on the weekends. Um, <laughs> uh, don't ask. Um, so anyway, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.